Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 36 of Be With Me. You know how sometimes uh, when you sit outside and you watch a big black thunderstorm come in and you'll be sitting there and the storm will not have hit you yet, but you can see it coming in and you think, man, this is a bad storm. This one's going to be bad. The sky's really black, but it actually hasn't hit you yet. And then as you sit there, these massive raindrops from the thunderstorm start to come down, usually just one at a time, boom, boom, boom. And they they seem to be way bigger than a normal raindrop. I'm not sure how this happens. And then you run inside uh, as the as the storm hits. Well, that's the moment that we're going to discuss today about Jesus's passion. So we've been in the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus resolves to take the cup that the Father has for him, the cup of his wrath to pay for all our sins. And really, that's the engine that powers the entire passion. And by the passion, we mean all the suffering that Jesus has to go through. And then yesterday, we talked about um, his betrayal uh, and his confrontation in the Garden of Gethsemane. Peter pulls out the sword. Uh, Jesus reveals himself as the I am, the powerful thing. All the soldiers fall down. He allows them back up. And then today he's going to allow himself to be uh, arrested. He says to Peter, put your sword back in the sheath. Shall I not drink this cup that the Father has given me? And today we're going to see Jesus start to drink the cup. Here we are in John chapter 18. And uh, Jesus gets arrested today. This is John 18, 12 through 14. And then I'm going to skip a little bit down to 19. So the band of soldiers and their captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus, number one, and bound him, number two. First, they led him to Annas, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. It was Caiaphas who had advised the Jews that it would be expedient that one man should die for the people. That's back in John 11. Verse 19, the high priest then questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in the synagogues and in the temple where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said these things, one of the officers standing by struck Jesus with his hand, saying, is that how you answered the high priest? Jesus answered him, if what I said is wrong, bear witness about the wrong. But if what I said is right, why do you strike me? Annas then sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. All right, so stuff begins to happen to Jesus. We find out that there's a band of soldiers. We find out that there's a leader of them, the, the captain, and then these officers of the Jews who are this arresting uh, team. So Jesus is arrested. And this is the first, if you don't count the Garden of the Gethsemane, uh, uh, this is the first sip of this cup that Jesus was referring to, the first sip of the Passion. And when you get arrested, you start uh, not being able to do what you want to do and go where you want to go. So you, a will is arrested in a sense. Now, usually that's because you've done something wrong, but Jesus is it defends himself in this regard and says, I have done nothing wrong, which just makes this all the, all the worst for us. So I asked the Lord today, Lord, Lord, what would you have us see today in this? So keep your eyes open for that, for yourself. So Jesus is arrested, then he's bound. What does that mean? Well, that means you don't get to do what you want to do with your hands. And then he starts this this uh, entering into this trial portion. He's going to get six t total trials. This is the first one. This is the first Jewish trial. Uh, Annas or Ananias is a, uh, a leader of the Jewish people. He was... Uh, high priest from 6 AD to 15 AD. This is about 33 AD. <clears throat> and one of his sons, actually it's his son-in-law, Caiaphas, is high priest. He had uh, four real sons who were high priest. 
This is his son-in-law who was high priest, and this guy was high priest for 18 years. So two very powerful people. The old guy, Ananias, they still call him high priest, just like we call our uh, ex-presidents, Mr. President. Um, and then Caiaphas, who's the real high priest. But An don't get confused. Ananias is not the real high priest, even though he's referred to as the high priest. He's respected. They uh, So respected, they made a statue out of him. And so he has stature in calling him high priest and a statue. So he's a big uh, a power broker, if you will. So he asks Jesus about his teaching, and then he asks them about his disciples. So there's, I think there's some political consideration here, like who else do we have to worry about? And then I wanted to get to the struck part. So this soldier strikes uh, Jesus, and then I found something in uh, Acts 23, verse 1, and it says, uh, and looking intently at the council, Paul says, Brothers, I have lived my life before God in all good conscience up to today. And the high priest, Ananias, commanded those who stood by him to strike him on the mouth. So at least at one point in this uh, passion story, Ananias, Annas here, commands the soldiers to smack Jesus, to strike Jesus. So maybe this is it, that maybe the soldier didn't act outside of his boundaries. Maybe he was commanded to strike uh, uh, Jesus. So that I thought that was just a little in interesting. Either way, uh, a person is supposed to have respect for the ruler of the people. That's from Exodus 22, and Jesus defends himself in verse 23 here, saying, if what I said is wrong, bear witness about the wrong. But if what I said is right, why do you strike me? All right, so the passion begins, ladies and gentlemen. The, stun the thunderstorm has hit. We found Jesus not being able to do what he wants with his uh, legs and his location and his will. That's called an arrest. We find him not being able to do what he wants with his hands. That's being found. And we have him not being able to do what he wants to with his face. In other words, they strike him. This is a big switch for the gospel reading here now. So now we've gone from the rainbows and puppies parts of the gospel where Jesus heals and teaches and loves and all that. And now the storm of Jesus' passion starts. And today is the first three big raindrops where he was arrested, bound, and tr and struck by our brothers and sisters, if you will, other other humans. It begins to get unpalatable and and memorable. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first three raindrops of the Passion. Thanks for listening. <laughs>